right, so Jenny, I've knocked over a few cups in my day. Quite a what? few. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do when that happens? Well, when that happens, we call them fumbles. The most important thing to remember is always fix your fumbles when they happen and never give up. Never. Now, there are three common types of fumbles. The first fumble is when your top cup tips over or falls into the surface of your stacking. Yeah, That's I've... called a tipper. Oh, a tipper, okay. I yep. was gonna say, I've mastered that one. <laughs> the second type of fumble is when a cup slides onto another cup. That's called a slider. Makes sense, I'm, I'm sure I've done that. And the last type of fumble is in the down stacking phase when all of your cups are down stacked and the entire stack falls or topples over. That's never. called a toppler. I would never, do okay, usually when I knock it over, it goes straight off the table, so. <laughs> well, that's okay, but the most important thing to remember is always fix your fumbles right when they happen. The rule is your previous stack must be standing before you can move on. Now, for example, say you're stacking a 363. Three. You upstack your first three, and as you're upstacking your six, a slider occurs on your three stack. Now you have to take down your last stack, okay. fix that slider, Go back. and then you can move on. Okay. Now once all of your cups are standing, and now you're in the down stacking phase, if you accidentally knock over the cups, you don't have to go back and fix them. You can just continue your down stacking. Okay. But the rule is, all of your cups must be down stacked by the time you're done. Okay, so I gotta ask, how do we get as good as you? Well, first you wanna practice on your own to improve your speed stacking skills. And then you can move on to more challenging races. 